Most of us understand the concept of criminal activity, right? You know, we do a crime, we, we get charged with breaking and enter, armed robbery, theft, whatever it is, and we go in front of a jury, we are judged by a jury or a judge, and the sentence is laid out, and whatever that sentence may be. But right after that, they put us in handcuffs and they put us in jail. Somebody walks us to the jail cell and puts us in jail and locks the cell behind us, the door behind us. We, we all understand that concept, right? We get that, we do the crime, we're the prisoner, right? But in life, there's also that kind of concept, isn't there? What one are you in your life? Are you the prisoner of your life or are you the jailer of your life? And most of us think because of our circumstances in our bad past or our traumatic childhood, whatever it may be, we have difficulties, we're faulty, whatever it is, that we are the victims or the prisoner of our lives or of our circumstances. But really, we are not the prisoner. What we are is the jailer. We're the one who put us in there. We're the one who lock the cell door behind us and put us in that cell of thinking that we are a victim and we are the prisoners of our lives. Well, I'm here to tell you, you are not the prisoner. You are the jailer. It is time to open the door and let yourself out of everything that you think is holding you back. Get out there, make changes in your life that are positive and great. You are the jailer, not the prisoner. We think that, we think we're the victims, we think we are, are prisoners of our past, of our mind, of our alcoholism, of our addiction, but we are really not. We are the jailers. The key is to recognize that. We put ourselves in those situations, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Please subscribe, and if you could take a second, hit that like button, but I hope you're all having a terrific day. And I tell you something, it's great to be sober. Bye-bye.